Hi, this is Fiji McAlpine with Do Yoga With Me. This is Dynamic Twists. This practice unleashes the potency of our twists by uncovering the power in a strong and solid base and moving from there. For this practice, you'll need a block, lots of deep cycles of breath, and a little bit of power from within. Enjoy. Let's start today in a seated pose, giving yourself time to rock side to side to create a strong and solid base, which will be very important in our practice today. Making sure that your hips and your knees feel as though they're square to the front line of your mat. The shoulders are doing the same as they stack over your hips, and you can even roll the shoulders a few times here, drawing your shoulders high to your ears, looping the shoulder blades into the spine, and then letting them fall away from your ears towards the earth. And close your eyes. Once you tune out of that external gaze, you start to open up that window to the internal gaze. You start to notice things that are taking place inside of your body without your mind really bringing awareness to them. Things like the sensation of your breath, or the sensation of the wind against your skin, the pressure of the earth under your sit bones. You notice areas of your body perhaps that you're gripping unnecessarily and you give those areas permission to relax and let go. You can start by swallowing and relaxing the jaw. Let go of the pursing of the lips. And see if those two releases of energy or grip can translate into softening in other parts of your body. Maybe your hands will soften, your toes, your hips. And let your awareness start to linger on the sensation of the rise and fall of your breath. Feel a subtle lift or lengthening and expansion of sorts on every inhale. And a softening and drawing back in or retracting to center as you exhale. Let your eyes open again now, keeping your gaze soft down towards the earth. Crown of the head is still reaching up towards the sky. Bring your hands out in front of your chest now, palms face one another, keeping the shoulders plugged into the sides of your waist. Elevate your arms so that your hands are straight over the shoulders. Fingers extending up, but the shoulders are pulling down. Push down into your sit bones, reach to the crown of your head. Try and be stable through the center of the spine. Notice if you're swaying in the lower back. Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, move slowly, turning your torso to the right. Try and keep the navel pointing towards the front of your mat, both of your hips even towards the front of your mat, the pressure of your sit bones on the floor even. See how far you can go simply with muscular effort through the core and intention. Go a little bit higher on the next inhale, expanding. Soften as you exhale and see if there's a little more rotation after that. Now, wherever you've made the turn of your chest, we're gonna stay there but lower the arm. So your left hand falls on your right knee and your right hand drops behind your hips. Use your fingertips against the mat, push down, straighten your right arm, that's gonna help prop the spine up. Take a nice long inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly take your gaze past your right shoulder to the back of your mat. At the same time, see if you can shift slightly forward into your right knee through your right hip. And come back to center. Both arms reach up. As you exhale, soften the shoulders. So our twists become more powerful, more dynamic when we have a solid base that doesn't move. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale nice and tall. As you exhale, using core strength, turn the chest to the left. See how far you get. Push down into your sit bones. Inhale, expand again. Exhale to try and soften and see if that gives you just a little bit more. Now inhale. And as you exhale, bring your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Sit nice and tall on the inhaling breath. And as you exhale, take your gaze past your left shoulder towards the back of your mat. At the same time, push forward into your left hip, forward into your left knee. Feel that warming sensation or the friction that's caused by the true twist right in the center of your spine. 
Great for the digestive organs. We started by twisting to the right, moving into the ascending colon, now twisting to the left, descending colon. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, you can bring your hands to the front of your mat and draw yourself up to your hands and your knees. We're gonna move the knees back under the hips, hands under the shoulders, fingers are flared. The crease line of the wrist is lining to the front line of your mat. Inhale, take the crown of your head and tailbone up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, push into your hands, float your knees and draw your hips back to your heels. Keep the knees off the floor, inhale, come forward, take the gaze forward. Exhale, knees are still off the floor, drawing into your chest as you round the back, tuck your chin and drop your forehead to the earth. Let's do that three more times, inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale to come forward, turn your knees and toes to the left, try and anchor now through the upper body so it stays stable, heart is facing the floor, draw your knees towards the sky, feel that nice deep twist, twist here, you're going to push into your hands and pull back with your hips in the twist. When you're at the lowest point with your hips, you're going to draw your knees once again towards the sky and push out into your left hand. Drop down into your left shoulder and even tuck your chin in towards your throat. Come back to center on the inhale. Now do the same thing on the other side, turning your toes and your knees to the right. Draw back and down. Lift your knees as high as you can. Push out through your right hand. Drop the right shoulder and drop the forehead. Back to center again on the inhale. Now as you exhale, take your hips up, your heels towards the floor. First downward facing dog. We can have a few cycles of breath here, letting your head hang heavy. You can warm your hamstrings up very gently by pedaling the heels up and down off the mat. Just taking in the information that the body is providing to your mind as to how tight you might feel today, how much warming you need to do before you start to lean into that sweet discomfort. Let the shoulders roll away from your ears, broadening the collarbone now, softening your elbows. Hug the elbows in towards one another and then work your arms straight again. With your next inhale, let's shift the gaze forward to the thumbs, draw the chest and head forward over your thumbs and push back into your heels. Scoop the tailbone under, lift through the back of your heart and bring your entire body slowly to the floor with your elbows touching your ribs as you drop down. Once you're on your belly, point your 10 toes straight back. Inhale, coming up to cobra. And exhale to release. Do that one more time. Use just the tips of your fingers this time so there's very little effort from the arms or the hands. Draw your elbows closer and use the action of the elbows pulling down to take your heart and chest up. Slowly release. Hook the 10 toes under, inhale to plank with or without the knees. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Lift the heels high and look to your hands, stepping one foot at a time between the thumbs. Grab onto opposite elbows. Let your forehead fall to your forearms, soften your knees. Let the weight of your upper body and shoulders round up towards your ears. We want as much movement and suppleness in the shoulders as we can get, especially as we start moving towards twists and binds in twists. Now take a nice long inhale. On your next exhale, start to pull your right elbow to the outside of your right knee. Push your left elbow to the long side of your mat. So your forearms essentially are running parallel to the long side of your mat here. Breathe up and down the left side of your waist. Bring yourself back to center. Now the same thing on the other side. Take a nice long inhale. As you exhale, pull the left elbow to the outside of your left knee. Push the right elbow to the long side of your mat. Breathe up and down the right side of the waist. Back to center again. Start to soften your knees now and let your hips drop a little bit. You can even allow the pressure of your knees against your chest to help you further round and release the upper back. Then let your hands 
Fold down to the floor, palms facing the sky. Soften your fingers. Try and release as much as you possibly can here. Surrender as much as you can. To feel light and liberated throughout the entire practice. Now let your hips drop another level, to the level of your knees. When that happens, take your head and your heart off your knees. Come about halfway up just to get the foundation of the legs. Draw the tailbone under, feeling strong in the legs, deep pelvic tilt. You can take your hands behind you, interwoven fingers, and try rotating your palms away from you here. Pull the shoulders further on your back. Feel that nice deep expansion through the chest. And let the palms rotate back in towards you. Push the palms towards one another. Try and let the arms go as straight as they can. Now we're going to drop the chest again to the thighs, push down into your heels to lift your hips and let the weight of your arms and collected hands help you to release the shoulders. This is one of those shoulder openers that we really notice a huge shift throughout the duration of the practice. Noticing how far your hands are right now away from the floor, how tight your shoulders might feel and then just checking back in throughout the practice to see how that changes. Just by your presence, your movement and your breath. Start to bend your knees, drop the hips again to the level of your knees, pull your knuckles, shine forward with your heart as you lift your head. You can release the bond of the hands, bring your hands out in front of your chest, palms face, inhale, follow the hands up to stand. As you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Step to the front of your mat if you're not already there, bringing your toes together, your heels can be slightly parted. Stand tall, firm the legs, inhale to reach your arms up. As you exhale, bring your hands straight down through the core line of the body and let your hands rest on either side of your feet. Come halfway up on the inhale and as you exhale, step back into downward facing dog one foot at a time. On the inhaling breath, come forward to plank pose. As you exhale, move through chaturanga with or without your knees, coming down halfway or less. Elbows are very close to the torso here. Flip your feet one at a time to ensure the strong legs supporting you and then move up into Upward Facing Dog or Cobra. If you're in Upward Dog, try and kiss your heels together. Soften the elbows, flip the feet again, pull back with the hips and core, and let your head hang heavy between your arms. With your next inhale, lift your heels high, look to your hands, step or hop between your thumbs. Come halfway up, keeping the fingers on the floor, and move now into your first active forward fold, drawing the navel in towards the spine, pushing the fingers down into your mat. Bend your knees, reach the hands forward, follow them up to stand. Palm on palm, again exhale, pull the hands down, warming the body up. Inhale to come halfway up. As you exhale, step back to downward facing dog and pause. Keep your gaze locked on your left foot. Now turn this into a one-legged downward facing dog, lifting your right heel towards the ceiling. Here is when we really start to notice what takes place in our hips as we move different limbs. As we ask our body to do different frames, our hips really like to rotate around. So did your right hip go higher than the left? If so, see if you can drop your right hip back down to the same elevation as your left and push firmly back into your right heel. Now as you exhale, pull your right knee into your chest and pause. Inhale, the right leg returns to the sky, the hips are even. Exhale, use that same motion to step your right foot up between your hands. Lower your left kneecap down to the ground. Inhale, bring both arms overhead. And as you exhale, sink forward and down with the hips. Relax the shoulders, let them melt down away from your ears. Now from here, focus the gaze down on the floor, reach the hands forward, find your block, and invite your block to come directly under your left hand under the left shoulder. We're going to push into the block and you're going to float your left knee up off the earth. Extending your right hand out in front of you, pushing back into your left heel. As we start to work through twists, it's really important to get to know our rights and our lefts. Things start to get all wound up. So knowing how to work our body in two different directions across the spine, across that line of energy. Pulling our right hip back. Lifting the left hip up. So the back of the pelvis essentially is square to the floor and also square to the front line of your mat. Notice how this feels in your body. 
Now take your right arm out to the side, palm facing the earth, keeping your pelvis in this same position. Let's elevate onto the tips of our fingers so that we're not putting too much weight down in that left hand. This is going to ask the core muscles to do work as we start to work a real twist. The dynamic twist happens when we start to turn your heart to the right. Lift your right shoulder, the right arm goes up as a byproduct. Draw the left shoulder under and pull your navel into your spine. Now again, try and square the hip. So pull the right hip back, bend your right knee, lift the left hip up, and then see if you can again work the edge of that twist. Notice at this point my right arm isn't completely vertical. I could move my arm independently of my shoulder to have it point up to the sky, but that would defeat the purpose of the twist. I'm trying to be as honest as I possibly can in the lines of this pose. I'm turning my chest, keeping the left shoulder connected to the right, turning my collarbone and lifting my heart as I turn. Slow, steady, even breathing. Now push firmly back into your left heel. The right arm extends beyond the top of your head, palm turned down. The bicep is approaching your earlobe, your cheek, your right shoulder hugging down against the side of your waist and inviting you to again remember to pull the right hip back, shift the left hip forward, lift the left hip up. Take one more inhale for length. As you exhale, try and soften and create space that might allow you to lift your heart slightly higher and get closer to stacking your shoulders. Now swing that right arm directly in front of your gaze and back towards the back of your mat. Reach the right arm overhead and forward. Do that two more times. Exhale to slice the air in front of you. Inhale, reach up and over. Last time, exhale. And inhale. Now bring the right hand down. Let your left kneecap again return to the floor. From here, we can slide that block to the front of our mat and work the right leg straight. It's gonna be very happy about that. Pull the toes back towards your shin. And again, try and square your hips to the front line of your mat. Scoop the tailbone under, scoop your chin towards your throat, and then exhale out over your right leg. Take a full cycle of breath in and exhale all the way out. Now inhale to lift the chest. Push down into your fingers, using core strength, lift your right leg and foot, and then swing the right leg back behind you. Flatten your palms, pushing down into your palms, hook the left toes under, and float your right leg again to the sky. Again, shift around in the pelvis and shoulders so both are square to the floor. And as you exhale, draw your right knee into your chest, inhale to your plank, and exhale through chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take your hips back, take your gaze between your feet and let your head hang heavy. Shoulders roll wide. Lift your heels nice and high, take your gaze to your thumbs, step or hop between the hands. Halfway lift on the inhale and fold as you exhale. Bend your knees, drop your hips, reach the hands forward, follow them all the way up to standing. And as you exhale, follow them straight back down. Halfway up on the inhale, stepping back again to downward facing dog as you exhale. Gazing back between your feet, shoulders roll apart. Now the left foot floats towards the sky. And again, just noticing what happens in the hips. And when we do lift one hip higher than the other, what happens to the shoulders? Those two parts are very well connected in our body. So squaring the hips, squaring the shoulders, pushing out into your hands. Now exhale, draw your knee into your chest, bring your chest forward. Inhale, left leg up. Same action, steps the left foot to the left thumb. From here, you can bring your right kneecap down to the ground. Inhale, arms overhead. And as you exhale, drop the shoulders, roll the tailbone under, and move the pelvis forward and down. Feel the heart lifting as the hips sink. Now try and hold your navel back towards your spine as you lean forward. Find the block now with your right hand. Place the block under the right shoulder. Right hand is on the block. Elevate your right knee from the floor and send energy straight back from your hip into your heel. At the same time, send energy from your core, your navel, to your left shoulder and out through your left hand. 
feel the dynamic pull of energy moving in two opposing directions but with equal force. And then see if you can match that push and pull sensation with the rhythm of your breath. Balancing the inhale versus the exhale. Now the action of the pelvis, we need to draw the left hip backward in space. Push the right hip forward and lift the right hip up. So the back of the pelvis is square to the floor. The pelvis, the hips are square to the front line of the mat. The left arm is going to swing out to the side, palm facing down. Without letting your right hip drop, start to lift your heart and turn to the left. Start to lift your left shoulder and roll it back. On the inhaling breath, the crown of your head reaches forward. On the exhaling breath, remember to push back into your heel. Now engage your core a bit, navel to your spine, see if that core engagement can help you rotate a little bit more. Again, the left hip pulls back, right hip forward, right hip lifting. Take another long inhale. The bottom of the exhale, see if the exhale can help you soften more into space so your left shoulder rolls back, right shoulder under. Now the left arm extends over the top of your head, palm turned down, bicep is tickling your ear, your cheek, you're reaching out into your fingertips, pushing back into your heel, slow, steady, even cycles of breath. Pull the left hip back, lift the right hip up. Now take that left arm and slice the air in front of you, reaching towards the back of your mat. Inhale, reach up and over. Do that two more times, exhale, inhale. Last time, exhale, inhale. Now we're going to bring that left hand all the way down. Let your right kneecap rest on the mat. Slide the block forward and slide your hips back to work the left leg straight, curling your toes from the floor towards your shin. Inhale to come halfway up. Exhale, tuck the chin and tailbone, rounding the back as you extend over your left leg. Inhale to lift the heart. Push down into your fingers. As you exhale, pull back with your hip, lift the foot up off the floor. Thread the leg back, flatten your palms, then take your heel to the sky, one-legged downward facing dog. As you exhale, pull your knee into your chest. Inhale to your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale until you're completely empty. Lift your heels high, look to your hands, step or hop between your thumbs. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, active forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, follow the hands all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to your heart. Drop your hands down beside your hips, roll the shoulders up, back and down. From here, bring your feet together at the front of your mat. Grab hold of your block. Create space just above your knees to wedge the block between them. Drop down into the seat of Ukatasana or chair pose. Again, just trying to isolate our base. Keep our base solid and facing the direction that we're intending, and then allowing the part of our body above that foundation to have the movement. That's where we create the dynamic of the twist. Scoop the tail under, navel towards your spine. Look down at your knees. Notice that your knees are flush are level to the front of your mat. The right knee is not farther forward or the left knee. This is really important as we move into this first twist, bringing your hands into your heart. Look down, make sure everything looks good. Toes in line, knees in line. Take a nice long cycle of breath here and sit deeply into your chair. Now with your next inhale, feel your heart rise. And as you exhale, cross your left elbow over your right knee. The palms are sealed together. You're trying to move your right elbow to a position stacking over the left elbow. Your forearms are vertical pillars. Before you work the twist, reconnect with your base. Look at your knees. Did your right knee draw back? If it did, shift it forward using the power of your legs. Squeeze your block. Shift the right knee forward by pushing the right hip forward. Now begin to work the twist. The heart lifts towards the thumbs. The right shoulder rolls back and pulls down away from your ear. The crown of your head is forward, tailbone reaching back. Every inhale, go for length and lift. Every exhale, you're softening, and that softening allows you to twist just a bit deeper. 
Notice the gentle stretch taking place behind your left shoulder. This becomes key when we go to bind these poses. Inhale, return to the chair of Uttanasana. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Inhale, lift your heart slightly. And exhale, hook your right elbow over your left knee. Again, take your gaze down to your knees. If it's necessary, shift the left knee forward, shift the left hip forward, then start to roll the left shoulder back. Push down into your left hand, heart lifts. Sink your hips down, keep the hips square. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale to deepen the twist. Inhale to find length. Exhale to find depth. Notice again that nice stretch taking place under the right shoulder here. Inhale back to center and exhale over your legs. Inhale halfway up. Go ahead and slide the block out from between the legs, placing it somewhere close to the front of your mat. And go ahead and step back now with your left foot. Pivot the left heel to the floor, bending your right knee for warrior one. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale into your base. Push out into both feet and then lean out over your right leg. Stable through the torso. Now rolling through the chest, the right shoulder rolls under, left shoulder rolls back. Now push up to warrior two. One hand reaching forward, one hand reaching behind you at shoulder level. Sink down into the legs, push out equally into both feet. Now reach forward with your right hand. Bring your left hand to your left hip, your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Stand in your right leg and lift your left. Tone your entire leg from your hand all the way through your heel. Flex the foot, curl the toes back. Now you're gonna bring the left hand from your hip to the earth. Keep the elevation of the hip, but turn the leg bone so the toes and kneecap are now pointing down. Grab the block with your left hand and place your hand and the block directly under your heart. You can draw yourself up to the tips of your fingers if you need a little extra elevation for the chest. Keep the left hip high as you take your right arm out to the side, just as we did before. Now think about lifting your heart to the right, lifting your right shoulder, keeping the right leg as straight as it can be as you twist. Try and lift your heart as you turn. Don't drop the left leg. Keep breathing, keep working into both heels. Using a little more core strength as you exhale to deepen the twist. Now bring that right hand back down, step the left foot back, place both hands on the earth and take your right leg to the sky. Roll the ankle, wiggle the toes. Smooth inhale, smooth exhale. On your exhaling breath, draw your right knee into your chest. On the inhale, take the right leg up. On the exhale, cross the right knee over to your left elbow and take that right knee back up. One more time at center, exhale. Inhale to plank, exhale through vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and exhale until you're completely empty. Lift your heels as high as you can. Look to your hands, step or hop between them. Inhale to come halfway up. And as you exhale, step back with your right leg. Pivot the right heel down to the floor. Set your base and come up to warrior one. Sink down into your legs, push out into both feet. Relax the shoulders. Now lean out over your left leg. Rotate the chest so the left shoulder tucks under, right shoulder rolls back. Come up to warrior two, spreading your arms in two different directions, fingers reaching out at shoulder level. That left hand extends beyond the left foot, right hand to your right hip, left hand to the outside of the left foot. Now stand in your left leg, lifting the right. Tone from your hand, which is at your hip, all the way down to your heel. Notice that nice lift and elevation of the hip. Take your right hand now to the floor, find the block. You're gonna roll that leg bone to point towards the floor without losing any of that hip elevation. Back of the pelvis at this point should be able to balance a tray. Now the left arm moves out to the side. Draw up as high as you can onto the fingertips of your right hand and start to turn your heart to the left. 
Lift your heart, lift your hand, lift your hip. Hips are still square to the floor. It's the upper back that's doing the twist. Left shoulder rolling back, right shoulder under. Go for length on the inhale, a little more depth on the exhale. Go ahead and bring that left hand down. Bring your hands onto the floor, step the right leg back and take your left leg to the sky. Roll the ankle, wiggle the toe. As you exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Inhale, left leg up. Cross over to your right elbow as you exhale. Inhale, leg up. And exhale, draw your knee into chest. Inhale to plank. Exhale, halfway down or less. Back up to plank. Just making sure you're staying with me, paying attention. And then drawing back to downward facing dog here. Roll the shoulders. Lift your heels nice and high. Look to your hands, step or hop between the thumbs. Halfway up, inhale, and fold as you exhale. Bend your knees, reach the hands forward and come all the way up. Exhale your hands to your heart. Let's go ahead and step to the middle of the mat now. Feet are outer hips distance apart. You can place your hands here at the top of your hips. You can shift the gaze to the floor and find a spot where you can lock your gaze to help with balance. Leaning into your left foot, take weight out of your right and actually pull your right knee up to hip level. Now keep your gaze on your spot and don't look down as you reach across your shin and find the outside edge of your foot. And then think about standing. The hips need to shift forward, the shoulders shift back. Push down into your strong and very powerful, very capable left leg. Take a few cycles of breath here. This might be as far as you wanna go. You're already starting to notice, however, that your upper body needs to twist to the right. So the heart starts to turn to the right side of your mat. At the same time, we want that solid, strong base of the hips to face forward. If you feel like you can move a little bit further into this next twist, we're gonna to start to extend the right leg forward, pushing the heel out, holding on, pulling back with that left hand. Hips are pointing forward, chest is turning to the right. Think about your heart rising, crown of the head rising, and maybe your right hand wants to leave your right hip and actually extend towards the back of the mat. Take a few cycles of breath here. As you exhale, bring your right hand again to your right hip. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Try and hold the elevation of that right leg. Bend your right knee and drop your right foot down. Shift from side to side. Refocus your gaze on one unmoving spot. Lean now into your strong, powerful right leg. Lift the left heel and actually draw the knee up to hip level. Keep your gaze on your spot as you reach the right hand across the shin to find the outer edge now of your left foot. Think about standing tall, shifting back with the Shoulders forward with the hips. Push down into your right heel. Think about squaring the hips to the front line of your mat and allowing your chest to turn now to the left. Left shoulder pulls back, right shoulder shifts forward. If you feel like you're ready to move a little bit further, start to push out into your left heel. At the same time, pull back with your right hand. If you feel like you're ready now, you can take that left hand from your hip and extend it towards the back of your mat. Energy is moving in two different directions here, forward, back, up and down. Heart is lifting, crown of the head is lifting and you're breathing. Left hand returns to the left hip, right hand to the right hip, left leg stays elevated. And then you soften the knee and release the foot. Shifting side to side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands straight down. Inhale, come halfway up. And as you exhale, take a nice active forward fold here. You can even grip the back of your heels, draw your elbows into the back of your knees and point the crown of your head straight down towards the floor. Core muscles engage slightly to hold the torso down along the legs. With that next inhaling breath, come halfway up. As you exhale, step into downward facing dog at the back of your mat feet working all the way back. 
Shoulders roll wide, crown of the head is gonna reach forward. Now lift your heels here, balancing on your toes, drop your knees to the floor. On the inhaling breath, take the crown of the head, tailbone up towards the sky. On the exhaling breath, lower your hips to your heels and your forehead to the mat. And with your next inhale, start to roll the spine up slowly. Let your hands come all the way up towards the crease of the hips, loop the shoulders up back and down. I'm gonna go ahead and cross the ankles so we can roll the hips to the very back of the mat and extend the legs forward to the front. From here, flex your feet, push down into your hands and push yourself up to reverse tabletop pose. Hips are lifting. Notice the level of the hips compares compared to the level of the knees and the shoulders, everything in line. And go ahead and drop the hips back down. Take your feet up now and reach the hands towards your heels. Shoulders are on your back. Again, think about keeping your knees and your hips square to the front of the mat as we allow the upper back to twist in opposite directions. So we have that strong, stable base. On the next inhale, take your right arm to the sky. And as you exhale, reach the right hand towards the wall or the back of your mat. Lift your heart. Try and turn your palms, both hands, in the same direction as your heart. Notice what's happening with the knees and the hips. Now your right hand is gonna come forward to touch the left. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, take the left hand towards the back of your mat, turning your heart in that direction, palms in that direction. Notice if your left hip is pulling back, where left knee is pulling back. Left hand moves forward, touching the right. Inhale, legs up, hands up. Exhale, heels down, bring the chest forward and down. With your next inhaling breath, slowly start to roll the spine up. Now bend your knees so that you can come down onto the back side of your body, soles of the feet flat to the floor, rolling yourself down slowly. Appreciating the sensation of the earth beneath your back. From here, we're gonna take the right leg and extend the right leg up towards the sky. Flex the foot, cross your ankle over your knee and then push the right knee away from you. Lift your hips with your foot in this position, pulling the right knee down towards the earth. As you exhale, slowly lower the hips. Slide the right leg completely across the left. Hop your hips over to the right. Let your knees tip over to the left. Now take your arms out to the side. You can let the lines of your arms be straight or if it feels better, bend your elbows. Take your gaze over to your right hand or elbow and let your right shoulder soften. So again, we're allowing the energy of the body to move in two opposing directions to help deepen the twist. Bring your knees back to center. Uncross the right leg. Bring your hands back down beside your hips. Inhale to lift the left leg up, flexing your foot, and exhale to cross your ankle over your knee. Inhale now, lift the hips up. And as you exhale, actively pull that left knee down towards the earth. Go ahead and bring your hips back down. Slide the left leg completely across the right. Hop your hips over to the left and tip your knees down to the right. Take your arms out to the side, arms straight or elbows bent, and allow your gaze now to travel over to that left hand, helping your left shoulder to melt down towards the earth, feeling that wonderful stretch from your left hip to your left shoulder. Bring yourself back to center here. Uncross the left leg, bring your hands back down beside your hips and one leg at a time, extend the legs out. 
Allow your toes to fall open, palms to rotate towards the sky, and entire body to completely relax towards the earth. Take your arms over your head slowly and extend from your fingers down to your toes. Reach from your right hand down to your left foot and then your left hand to your right foot. Bend your knees, draw them in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your legs and rock yourself up to a seated pose. Sit as tall as you truly are, bringing the shoulders back, crown of the head draws towards the sky. Bring your hands again to your heart, let your eyes open, and again notice the base is square to the front of the mat, hips and shoulders in line. Feel the extension through the sides of your waist, both right and left. Feel the energy that's very easily circulating through you. That's a wonderful gift of a practice that's full of twists. Keep this energy with you until next we meet. Namaste.